Okay, so weeks ago, the Green Scorpion did a countdown on his top 19 worst Zelda bosses. And he did a great job with it overall. He did a great job explaining his choices, and he knew how to entertain the audience. I might even go as far as to say it's one of my favorite countdowns of his. Though that's mainly because it's exclusively entries from games I'm interested in hearing about. There are a few flaws, like in all videos, but nothing in the video really warranted a commentary, except for a certain thing that he did during his number 4 entry. So here we go. I've been waiting for years to get this bug off my chest. I like Skyward Sword more than most, but I always hated Mulderac. But Green Scorpion, you say? How could you of all people hate this boss? It's a giant scorpion. Yes, it is, but it's a giant scorpion done badly, standing around with its claws open for you to slash at different angles, the same kind of thing that was a tutorial earlier in the game. And you can even cheese it with a Skyward Strike. And it doesn't even use its tail. What kind of scorpion doesn't use its tail? Plus, it's the boss of the Laneru mining facility, an awesome dungeon with an amazing gimmick, localized time shifting. Surely they could have incorporated that into a boss fight, make some sort of robot that you have to agent DH to get around his defenses or something, but no. Instead, we're leaf blowing through dust to find a scared giant scorpion. This fight is so inconsequential, the game just throws another at you later like it's no big deal. Because it is no big deal. And somehow, the imprisoned is still worse. Yeah, I have a lot of personal beef with Mulderac, but I don't think I could get away without ranking one of the least popular bosses in the series. Okay, I understand. You think the Imprisoned is worse than Mulderac. That's fine and all, but was there any point to spending literally 71 seconds on a boss that isn't even on the list? Honorable mention segments exist for a reason. I'll admit, your explanation was actually pretty fun to listen to, so that definitely makes it better than Nathaniel Bandy's stupid Parsec ads and Sakurai's stupid binary tutorial, neither of which had anything to do with their respective videos like your Mulderac rent did but you're still wasting 71 seconds of the video. I can relate to wanting to talk about something really badly, but that's why maybe you should find another excuse to talk about it, like maybe with a list of disappointing Zelda bosses, or a list ranking every boss in Skyward Sword, or something. And even if it was supposed to be a fake out entry, then the least you could do is shorten it to somewhere between 20 and 30 seconds. I'm sorry, but this is not how you make your videos longer.